This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. <laughs> This is a somewhat tricky video for me to make because although my favourite pedal in the world ever made the Line 6 HX Stomp, um, something weird is happening with the pricing in the UK at the moment. I don't know if this is the case overseas, but I'm sort of getting messages and seeing people talking about this and I thought let's just talk about it quickly. Um, I was also having a back and forth with a bass player um, who was asking like, you know, kind of my opinion on some of this stuff um and the the price of the helix floor has been basically 1249 for for kind of a while in the uk this guy's a billy sheen fan and um basically described how none of the other modelers essentially can do what he needs except for the helix floor um also the hx stomp basically is came out at 400 pounds Recently, it was kind of at 499 and I still think for that money, this is a steal for all of the stuff that you get in there. But, for some reason in the UK, it's crept up now to £699. Now, I don't know whether this is a temporary blip. I'm assuming it is. 
and hopefully I can go back to making videos talking about why this is a no-brainer again. But £700, I think, just tips it over the edge into um, kind of a bit of an expensive territory. And yeah, the other thing is that I made videos with the HX1 and stuff like that, which was kind of one effect. And I felt like the HX Stomp was such a no-brainer when you were paying sort of 250 for the HX1 to have one algorithm at a time. I felt like the HX Stomp was the thing that I was going to say, you know, obviously this makes way more sense. But currently at this pricing, it's kind of the same as like the Hotone Ampero Stage, which I think is actually a little bit more functional for, for live use than the HX Stomp anyway. But hopefully a blip. But as I, I was thinking about that with that, that bass player, and he's kind of been considering whether he should make the move to Helix for a while. Uh, his pedal board is much larger than this. And I've kind of been saying the same thing since about 2022, which is it feels like there might be something new coming at some point, right? And that by that logic, would you be disappointed? And I guess this is individual to every other person. But at the moment in the UK, there's some places where this is like 1600. So that's GAC. Um, I don't know what is going on there, but I'd have to say that at the moment, I'd be holding off and waiting around to see what happens. However, whatever eventually comes, because presumably Line 6 are working on a flagship, I don't know anything about that, but I'm guessing that they must be, because we've seen smaller kind of projects that are kind of lower, what would be the word, demand, so like the Pod Express, the HX1, kind of these sort of things that are, are not like a flagship, which obviously takes much more effort to develop. My thought is that the Helix floor is going to feel pretty futuristic for a while. And I say that because even though this came out in 2015, there are things on this that you can do that you cannot do with other modelers still, you know, whether it's like that pad generation thing in the intro, no other modeler can do it as simply and as easy to, to uh, actually set that up as the Helix. Um, you can do it on Fractal, but the tuning is kind of a little bit weird. You can do it with the Quad Cortex with a bug from one of the filters, um, but it's not something that's actually built in to be used in that way. Um, so Helix makes sense for that. Also, the Scribble Strips are going to feel like a, a premium gigging thing for forever, I think. Um, the screen is big, colourful. The capacitive touch stuff is going to feel futuristic, I think, forever. Um, the, the processing power, I don't think there's actually too many people out there that are maxing out their Helix floors if they're being sensible with it. Um, you know, you can run a couple of pitch things. You can run like up to four amps. You don't have to be a little bit selective with your signal chain, but I find even for me, like the HX Stomp generally has enough processing power to do a lot of the things that I want to do. Um, so yeah, I think at the moment something's happening in the, the Helix pricing world in the UK. Um, I think Yamaha controls that stuff. So maybe there are some stock issues. Something's happening. I don't know quite what's going on, but I'd probably hold off and see what's happening for now. Or um, f is it Fair Deal Music actually have it closer to their older pricing or Merchant City Music have some pretty competitive pricing. But with all of this gear stuff, to me, especially in modeling, it does sort of feel like you could wait forever to make a purchase and you might just be unlucky and something new comes out the next day after. But uh, hopefully you're not <laughs> not that guy. Um, but yeah, if it's the only modeler that does what you need, then to me, it seems like that's the only choice there is to make or you stick with what you've got and just see what happens um so yeah i think right now the helix to me in the uk seems a little bit overpriced it's priced like the same as the quad cortex uh, or the fender tone master pro which are of course newer units it's more capable than both of those in many ways it doesn't have some of the other features of those like a touch screen um but in terms of actual algorithms pound for pound you get quite a lot of stuff in there and some other unique stuff that i'm going to show you now but yeah, UK weird. If you want to try out those pads presets, I've actually got a folder specific for that for foot switching through like the scale in all of the keys and playing along really interesting for, for practice. And also you could actually use it live if you're really adventurous. 
But yeah, Gumroad Pads presets is what that's called. There's a few for HX Stomp, but it's mostly designed for Helix Floor. It's just a little preset that I put together here. Now, what's pretty incredible about the, the Helix and this... This, I think, remains the only modeler that can do this sort of thing. And I think it... Maybe it's an underutilized feature, but... Let's kind of just look at this together, if you'll permit me. So... Imagine you're on your gig. This, there's not enough gain here or there's too much delay or there's not enough delay maybe it's a, a worship gig and you decide right well obviously I need my delay way higher than this you can literally go in here your left mix for instance turn that up your right mix likewise and you could have done this if you got good at this sort of thing So think right well that it's too much gain for this particular thing that I'm doing or maybe it's got too much in the way of mid If I wanted more gain in here. Like it is very, very, very powerful stuff that you can't really do. I wanted to control this compressor very easy just press that button okay right that switch is there what if I wanted to control the bright switch as well right uh, we could do that controller well 
do that foot switch right so now we can control a bright switch I could decide right I don't need that bright switch controlled like that let's just control that with snapshots as it was before what if we decide actually I want two states of the delay um, let's do it like this uh, foot switch two left mix minimum value where it was 15 max 20 foot switch three Oh, wait two then right mix foot switch two fifteen twenty five like practical things that might actually be really useful on a gig so now we kind of got two you're not doing crazy crazy technical things I think you can well like this is a simple preset that would work on an HX stomp but on the full size unit as well I've got so much flexibility and there's so much power you know even that just being able to go in with your feet just edit any block uh, edit the output values as well you can turn things down you can pan things it's really pretty powerful and so much of it even nearly a decade in Kind of under, undersung in some. Kind of underrated as well, and I think, as much as I'm thinking, you know, other units have taken the spotlight here, but really, uh, I think the Helix is still pretty, pretty underrated.